Hello everybody, Johnny Lee Long here. Okay, and here's another one of my teaching series about bass guitar. Okay, on my first teaching video, I showed you what a bass was and what it's made out of and the, the parts of the bass. Some parts I left out, all right? But I'm gonna try, we're gonna start a different way today. All right, so on this part, we're gonna learn about, there are some locks that goes right here. It's called a strap lock. You, if, as you can tell, this one don't have one. Because this stays in my studio. And it basically don't go out. Alright, this thing right here is a cord. Alright? In this cord, I'm going to show you, they come in different sizes. Alright? They come in different makes. They come different lengths. They come different quality. Yet, they still a cord. Some people say the longer the cord is, your bass sounds differently. The shorter the chord is, your bass sounds differently. It's just your preference. On this thing right here, look at it real quick. All right, it's a chord. It goes right here in that jack. All right, now the proper way, <laughs> and a lot of people still don't do it sometimes, I forget. The proper way to put a chord in a bass is this way. I normally put the cord in the base first. Okay? And there's two ways you can do this. All right, I'm going to show you. Then you go to your amp. See it? Right there? There's your amp right there. And I don't have it all the way in my amp. But normally, what I would do is I put it in my base first. See it right there? Put it there first. And then go to my amp and put it in my amp while it's on. But you know what? What I normally do is turn the amp, the volume of the amp right there. See that volume knob? All the way down. And that stopped noise. Because you don't want no noise. Well, the sound man don't want no noise. And people in church or wherever you at in a club don't want to hear boom. They don't want to hear that. So now... Take this cord, go into your input jack of your amp, and you plug it in. Once you plug it in, you can turn the volume back up. All right? Isn't that sweet? Sweet. All right, back to the other part. All right. Hey, y'all. It's me again. All right. So, we're going to learn how to groove today. All right? We're going to learn an e-groove. There, there's a lot of people that can't do e-grooves. They can't thump, all right? Or they can't groove. A lot of people want to play, but they want to play everything. So every, so basically, a lot of people start with E because E is an open note, all right? And you can do a lot of things with an open note. Just sit there and hit it if you want to. But just before I get started, I want to, sh I want to show you all my drummer because he's helping me out today. Do you, you, mind, you don't mind, do you? Okay, okay, here we go. Everybody say hello to Hootie. Hootie, say hello to everybody. Hi, Dan. Yo, what's up? Okay, son. Thank you. All right, you ready? I think he's ready. All right, so he's going to lay down the groove for me. I'm going to lay this down a little bit more so you can see me a little bit, a little bit more. All right, so Hootie's going to lay the groove down for me. And we're going to start with this note right here. See that string right there? That's an open E, all right? And we're going to start with a groove, like uh, just a regular groove. So, H Hootie, I want you to give me a beat. You know, just give me a regular old funk beat. Ready? Just, you know. <sighs> get. You know, give me something, man. Give me something funky, man. All right? Ready? Hit me. Give me something funky. Oh, boy, you've been practicing. You've been practicing. he been practicing. All right. So, we're going to take that one, that groove right there. Ah, yeah, I like that. And we're gonna just use one note. Watch this. Ain't that funky? All I'm doing is touching it. Now we can add more notes to it. 
we can go to the third fret. That fret right there on the first string, third fret, which is a G. And we can add that into this one groove. Watch this. Keep the groove, keep the groove going, baby. Keep the groove. Who this? Who this? That boy's playing, ain't he? You better play, boy. Check him out, check him out. He's mind playing. He's using his mind. Three. All right, check it out. So now, we're gonna learn how to do a thump. We're gonna take this thumb and just hit it down on that first string, like this. Now when we hit it, we gotta take the left hand and close it. Can you guys see this? You can't, can you? All right, all right let, let's try this. Let's turn the camera this way. Uh-oh, I hope everything's still right. All right, so check this out. We're gonna take the left hand, put it over the G over the G note, which is the first string, third fret. And we're gonna we're gonna hit it, right? We're gonna hit it and, and then hold it like this. You hit, see me hit it? Now some people might want to kill it. Hey who, hey, who, hold up a second. All right, so here, here's, the, here's the key, for, fellas. It's not how hard you hit it. It's how hard you don't hit it. These things are active. So if they active, you ain't, got to, you ain't got to kill it to hit it. Most strings are set close to the neck, like mine. See that? Mine is right on the neck. You can't, I mean, you can't get away from it. It's right on the neck. All right, so basically... You ain't gotta hit it hard, you just touch it. All right, if you hit it hard, it's gonna sound aggressive, all right? Because the bass, whatever the bass feels, whatever the, the, the power you put on this bass, it's gonna sound like that. It's gonna sound aggressive. We don't want to sound aggressive. I don't want to sound aggressive. Say that to your mind. I don't want to sound aggressive. Say it to your mind. I don't want to sound aggressive. So you just hit it. That, that, but that, 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 but that, hit it and come off it. Hit it, come off it. Hit it, come off it. And you ain't hitting it with this. You're hitting it with the side of your thumb right here. And you see that? There's no blister there, but there is some darkness there. Oh, that's, that's, I was working on something before I started this. But you hit it on the side of your hand right here, of the thumb right here. All right? And guys who have calluses, I don't understand that. I never did have them like that, so I'm glad I'm, I, and I pray that I never will, because that's just nasty. But anyway, you just hit it, all right? It, it's, hit it. Hit it, come off. All right, so as my teaching videos go on, I'm going to show you more and more stuff, like how to hit and pull like this. Okay? You just take that finger right there, go underneath that, that, that number one string, and pull it out. You don't pull it out. You know, some, you see some people go like this. That's crazy. So you just take the string, go underneath the string, and let it go. As you pull your finger back, let it roll. Let it roll right off. But that's another teaching. So basically, guys, I just want you guys get, get started. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'll do more teaching videos because I like I like teaching videos. They just look so long, but I like teaching videos. So. On my next session, just keep watching my videos, and I keep coming to you with good teaching stuff. All right? We're going to learn how to do that pluck thing, that thump pluck thing like Larry Graham. Okay? We're going to learn all that and all that quick stuff. We're going to learn all that stuff, too. So, love you guys. Johnny Lee Long and Hootie. On drums, we're out.